the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics with one half to Roger Penrose for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of the general theory of relativity. And the other half, jointly to Andrea Gez and Reinhard Genzel for the discovery of a supermassive compact object at the center of our galaxy. This year's Nobel Prize has been shared for works related to two types of black holes that we know of. These days, a lot of us have heard of black holes, but it wasn't always like that. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity first suggested the possibility of a black hole, characterized by an unimaginable object of infinite density known as a singularity. Even Einstein didn't believe in their physical existence. Einstein thought that black holes were abstract mathematical notions too bizarre to exist in the real world. Back in those days, noted British writer Winston Churchill might have described a black hole as a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. But now, a little over a hundred years after Einstein's work, black holes have been inferred, detected, and even directly photographed. The first observational evidence for the existence of black holes came in around 1970 when astronomers reported a massive, invisible object in orbit around a blue star in the constellation of Cygnus. Several more were discovered by looking at the gravitational interaction of a black hole with a star in its neighborhood. In 2015, the first gravitational waves detected were produced by the merger of two black holes. The direct detection of the gravitational waves firmly established the reality of black holes. Soon after, in 2019, the first direct image of a supermassive black hole was produced by the Event Horizon Telescope, an array of eight ground-based large radio telescopes spread across the globe. Let's briefly look at the people and the work for which the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded. Sir Roger Penrose, aged 89, is one of the greatest and most creative living mathematicians. His work in topology, a branch of mathematics that deals with the properties of shapes and surfaces, is well known. Penrose triangles appear to be perfectly normal, except that it's impossible to create one. Likewise, you can keep walking up a flight of Penrose stairs, but never get any higher. These are beautiful Penrose tiling patterns that have great significance in the world of quasicrystals. His works in geometry actually appear like works of art and have inspired many artists. In 1964, Penrose showed that black holes could indeed form and he worked out the nature of the surface of such an object. To him, the black hole problem was a problem in geometry. A black hole forms during the final stages in the life of a massive star. General relativity predicts such entities to have infinite density, also known as a singularity, surrounded by a region called the event horizon. You can observe the motion of particles, objects or light only up to the event horizon, but nothing beyond it. To understand this, consider light that is far away from the event horizon. Light from this source spreads out in all directions. As the source moves closer to the event horizon, more and more of the light is constrained to curve around the event horizon. Light that crosses the event horizon can only move towards the center, towards the singularity. What's true of light is also true of matter. Light or matter can cross the event horizon just once. A black hole is a one-way membrane. So, a black hole is truly a trapped surface, as Penrose precisely described it. We can, however, see matter accreting outside the event horizon and detect black holes indirectly. In addition to describing a black hole, Penrose demonstrated mathematically that such black holes can form within the framework laid out by Einstein's general theory of relativity. This is considered to be the greatest work in the general theory of relativity after Einstein formulated it. 
It's for this work that Sir Roger Penrose has been awarded the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics. Penrose, through his mathematical ingenuity, has made other significant contributions to black hole physics. Professor C. V. Vishweshwara, the founder director of the Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium at Bengaluru, showed that black holes once formed were stable, a significant work indeed. After all, black holes can't exist if they form and instantly disintegrate. Let's congratulate Sir Roger Penrose on being conferred with this prestigious award. In our view, the Nobel Award has risen in stature by choosing Sir Roger Penrose. Reinhard Genzel from the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Germany and the University of California, Berkeley, and Andrea Gez from the University of California in Los Angeles, share the prize with Sir Roger Penrose for their study on the motion of stars close to the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The center of our galaxy is surrounded by enormous amounts of gas and dust that obscure the objects near the center. As a result of all this gas and dust, studying the motion of stars near the center of our galaxy is an extremely challenging task. Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Kez developed interesting techniques to clear the dust, so to say. They used large infrared telescopes and a technique known as adaptive optics in which the shapes of the mirrors of the telescope can be continuously deformed in a desired fashion. It effectively removes the effects of our atmosphere and enhances the quality of images. Using this technology, their study spanning two and a half decades clearly showed that stars near the center of our galaxy were moving faster than what the known physical laws predicted. One of the stars, named S0102, has a period of revolution of just 11 and a half years. Another star, S02, has a period of just 16 years. Therefore, their positions can be studied over one full orbit. By knowing the distance of a planet from the Sun and its period of revolution, it's possible to calculate the mass of the Sun. Likewise, from the measured speeds of these stars, the researchers concluded that the center of our galaxy is home to a compact object or a black hole that is as massive as 4 million times the mass of our Sun, but in size as small as our solar system. The two groups of researchers came to the same conclusion, that a supermassive black hole is at the center of our galaxy. How supermassive black holes form is yet to be understood. From Reinhardt's and Andrea's indirect detection, we have progressed to directly image a supermassive black hole in the center of a galaxy named M87. Many galaxies are suspected with good reasons to harbor supermassive black holes at their centers. In just about a hundred years, we've gone from a state of disbelief in black holes to firmly establishing their existence and go on to discover a type of black hole perhaps undreamt of even by Einstein. We congratulate Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Gez on this supermassive achievement for which the Nobel Prize is just recognition. <laughs>